I first heard the speech of E. V. Ramasamy Naikan at Coimbatore when I was uh, just eleven or twelve. The man was pouring out venom on Brahmins, naturally Tamil Brahmins. And not only that, he called Tamil a barbarian's language. The crowd appreciated it. It was very strange that nobody took objection to his remark. He being a Kannada, how could he call Tamil a barbarian's language? And he called Tamilians barbarians. And he continued to pour venom on Tamil Brahmins. The strange part of it was when I entered to listen to his speech there were two people who were collecting money for his speech. Earlier I had heard Kumara Mangalam, Parvati Kumara Mangalam and others, communist people, but they didn't collect money for their speeches. But it was strange that this fellow who claimed to be a Dravidian and who openly criticized Tamils collected money from people who came to listen to his speech and people were willing to pay it. And during the speech also he abused the Tamilians like anything. He abused those who worshipped God. He abused those who went to the temples, he abused Brahmin women, and he abused Rajaji. Rajaji did not take objection to all these things. This was almost the same case with Karnanadi and Arnadurai. But Arnadurai later on realized this mistake, he being a very highly educated person, cultured person, he came in touch with Rajaji and then got himself refined and cultured and he realized his mistakes when he associated with Rajaji and parted company with a man like E.V. Ramasamy Naikan.
at that time since i was very young my blood boiled whenever these people abused brahmins sanskrit our way of worship our see monthly remembrance of our ancestors in this noble task of his the christians and muslims of tamil nadu or people of madras you can say at that time help him became very popular that is what madras was at that time he almost drove the tamil tamil brahmins out of madras he along with tanadarai and karunanadi as i said karunanadi later i mean anadarai later changed his mind he became very cultured and thanks to the association with raja ji raja ji was a noble person he didn't harbor any ill will towards cv ramasamy naikan or their group of people another i could think logically he was a powerful orator both in tamil and in english though he wrote books against brahmins books like arya maya he later on changed his mind he understood what brahmins were what is their quality and why do they have so much faith in the almighty so with this background i will report to you one of his speeches to the madras university after he took over as chief minister as chief minister he took every decision only with the approval of raja ji it was uh, quite unfortunate that he died of cancer within 2 years of his taking over as chief minister i am sure raja ji did not expect this it was a bolt from the blue for him 
बिकॉज टर्ज न्यू करुणा नदी If he had been alive, if C N or now that I had been alive, Raja Ji would have brought forth the prohibition in Tamil Nadu. There is no doubt about it, and C N or now that he would have consented to it. But no, Karuna Nadi did not do it. Karnanadi, which is powerful oration and a very vulnerable set of Tamilian people, he never allowed Raja Ji to introduce prohibition in. Tamil Nadu, and unfortunately, even now, liquor plays an important role in the life of people of Tamil Nadu. Youngsters have become lazy. Youngsters have become very very cinema addicted they have become addicted to liquor just as some people are addicted to coffee they are addicted to liquor i will now oh in my next dispatch i will read out the address of c n r nadurai to the madras university thank you